Hello and welcome to Folio Web Help. This is the first of a two-part series on using the Audacity sound editing program. In this video, we'll cover downloading Audacity and the LAME library to allow you to export your Audacity programs to MP3 format. We'll also cover installing Audacity and LAME, setting some basic preferences, and a little bit about the Audacity interface. The second of the two videos covers importing music into Audacity, using the envelope to control fades with your music, and recording live audio, typically voices, uh, directly in Audacity. And finally, it covers um, how to edit a recording and exporting audio as an MP3 file. Let's get started. Here I am at the Google home page. Uh, unfortunately, the Audacity URL is a little hard to remember, so it's probably just easier to do a quick search for Audacity, and you'll find the, uh, the Audacity website comes up as the first link usually. So I'm going to click on that, and there I'll click right on the Downloads page. So under the Downloads page, we have the beta version and the stable version. We want to use the stable version. And at the time of this recording, that's the Windows 1.2.6 version. So I'll click on that. And it's going to give me a little bit of information on what's required to run the software on my computer. And I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. In just a moment, I'm going to see the download the Audacity 1.2.6 installer. But while I'm here, I'm also going to notice the lame MP3 encoder. And as it says here, it allows Audacity to export MP3 files. I'm going to come back and download that in just a minute. But first, let's get the Audacity 1.2.6 installer. So it'll kind of go to an ad page, but in just a couple of minutes, you'll find the Audacity program is um, available for you out on your desktop. And here it is. Let's go back and get the lame encoder. And the same as we did just a moment ago, I'm going to click and download the MP3 encoder. And it's going to take me to the LAME download page. And it'll tell me LAME version 3.98.2 for the current version of the Windows installer for the LAME library. I'll click on that and save it to my desktop. And there it is on my desktop. And to install these two, I'm just going to double click. And accept the license agreement. And I'm going to defer launching Audacity for just a moment. So I'll say finish. The same thing with the lame library. Double click on it. Run it. Accept the agreement. And we're done. So now we've successfully downloaded and installed both required components. Let's get started by taking a look at Audacity. I'm going to go to Programs and find Audacity. There it is. And here we are. Uh, in just a few moments, we'll come back and talk a little bit about the Audacity interface. But let's begin by setting a few pref preferences. Let's go to Preferences, Edit Preferences. And we're going to just look at the um, uh, first couple of menu items here. Uh, it's important to make sure that your audio input-output match. And chances are your um, default settings are fine here. The Microsoft Sound Mapper is going to go to your speakers. And depending on what microphone you have attached, I'm using a Logitech headset, so I've got that set correctly. You just want to check and make sure that um, the settings match the actual devices you're using. The quality settings may seem a little advanced right now, but uh, 44,100 hertz is CD quality audio, and all the settings here are probably just fine. Uh, if you need to have a smaller file size, you could tinker with these a little bit, but probably right now they're, they're about fine. Now let's check out file formats. Um, to be safe, you may want to um, make sure that make a copy of the file before editing. Um, it says safer is checked. Uh, and that's if you have um, um, a one-shot recording of your voice or something else that you don't have a backup copy of. Uh, that's a little bit safer. And frankly, the difference between safer and faster is very small with most applications. So safer is probably better. And down here, you'll notice it says MP3 library version, MP3 exporting plugin not found. That's that whole lame business. Uh, this is a one-time setup. All we have to do is say find library. And it'll tell us that we want to locate the lame library. We do. And it's in the local disk, program files, and then you'll find it under the lame folder, lame for audacity, and there it is, lame encoder.dll. This is a one time association of linking the lame library to uh, audacity 
And again, because they just have a, a licensing issue that, that can't allow them to do this directly. So you have to do this one time little nuisance and then it's all set to go forever. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about the Audacity interface here. Uh, we have our tools, the six tools in the upper left hand corner. This is the select tool, which you'll probably be using the most. The envelope tool that we'll be using for um, creating fades. Um, the drawing tool, don't use that very often. The um, zoom tool to zoom in on the timeline. Uh, the time shift tool and um, the multi-mode tool, again, uh, a more advanced kind of application. You have standard VCR-like buttons, fast forward, rewind, play, record, pause and stop. A series of different sound meters to let you know what uh, your program audio is sounding like, your microphone, um, and you also have the ability to adjust those there. Um, kind of a, a simple interface, but lots and lots of tools and flexibility underneath. And we're going to come back in program two and talk um, quite a bit about how we can use these tools to make a simple podcast. But first, let's take a moment and review what we've learned so far. We've seen how to download and install Audacity and the LAME library, and to set basic preferences to match the input and output devices, and also to link the LAME library with Audacity. Uh, and we've learned to check the default audio settings just to make sure they're in the right kind of quality uh, range that we want. You may want to view these related tutorials. The second in the series is podcasting with Audacity. You may also want to review um, good names for files. When we start working with large sound files on the web, it's going to be important to use good, good sound naming conventions as we name our files. You may also want to review how to upload files to Folio Web if the destination for your MP3s is your portfolio. And you might also want to view the tutorial on managing files on Folio Web that will show you how to rename and delete files if you should need to do that on Folio Web.